we unlock some speed runs, uh, and unlike what you might think, the speed runs are actually original levels using the gimmicks. Um, so in this case, you get a whole set of brand new worlds uh, with the ball to go on. Uh, of course, they're timed, but otherwise they are new content. It's not just run through the same thing again. Definitely. Also, Tom, turn around. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so... I don't know whether I've mentioned it yet, but I I went 100% on Astro's Playroom. I made sure that I got the Platinum. It was the first Platinum that I got on the console. Ah, yes, yeah. Quickly followed by um, Spider-Man Miles Morales. But that particular puzzle piece was one that it I, I needed a guide to find. Because I was just like, I don't know where it is. And then I looked it up and it was just like, turn around at the start of the level. I'm just like, you bastards. Well, actually, it's funny you mention that because there's a uh, an artifact coming up right now that I've never gotten. Oh, is um, it's the one on top of the platform, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So this is a a bugger. Like, I love this game. This particular thing is the bit that I dislike the most because it is just it doesn't feel like it works properly. It does, um, but it's just a nightmare. Okay, I was pressing the wrong button there. Yeah, I'm gonna say something potentially controversial I actually think this is probably my least favorite world but you know what it's the least favorite world in a game that's no. still really good and oh no <laughs> that was not what we wanted <laughs> so close and yet so far god damn it very, very embarrassing very embarrassing yeah, you know what practice run um, I think one of the reasons that I got really confused about this is when I was doing it, I didn't actually know if it was motion controlled or stick controlled, and I was trying to do both, and I realized that it confused me, so I died multiple times. I don't even actually know right now which one it is looking at Tom doing this. I honestly can't remember either. Um, all I know is the, it, it's the worst bit. Hey, it's the bus controller! <laughs> Oh, loved Buzz back in the day. Uh, Played that quite a bit with my cousins. So they had the PS2 while I had the GameCube. Also, I believe if you look on the left-hand side of this platform... Hey, Gravity Rush. Oh no, Cat, look out! She's fine. So yeah, this was the level... I think I actually did this one last. Same. Like, I... I mean, I like the level, it is just this section of the level that I had massive trouble with, and it's because of this particular gameplay mechanic. Um, and it's not necessarily that it doesn't work, because it does, it is more so the things that it throws at you whilst you're doing this. Because obviously you, you get hit once you die, um, but it kind of seems like things target you, and uh, oh look, Final Fantasy VII. 2020 Goaty. Yep, ditto for me. Not sure if I'd say that. Are we, we we can talk about what our games of the year are now for 2020, because this will come out after that Twitter thread. Mm -hmm. Hey! Yeah, in my eyes, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is honestly probably one of the best games on the actual PS4 itself. Um, I just think it is a absolutely magical game that honestly... Even knowing what was going to be coming up made me cry in certain instances, sometimes through just music alone. So, like, yeah, for me, it's a very good, very good game. Can I reach that? Yeah. So, yeah, for me, it is also uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is my favourite game of the year. Um, as I said, a hey, Silent Hill 2. Obviously, specifically 2 because it's Pyramid Head. Um... Yeah, so FF7 Remake is also for me. So the thing is, I never played the original Final Fantasy VII, so I don't have any of that nostalgia for the original title. However, obviously, it is such a huge game in gaming pop culture um, that I've always wanted to play it, but just the whole... the way it was originally never really sort of necessarily stuck with me. I never really felt the need to, because obviously... It's a game that shows its age, let's put it that way. Yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah, that is no kind of dumping on it. It's just it is a game of its time, and I am a little bit cheap. And hey, Ratchet and Clank! Oh, a little tiny Clank bot on his back. <laughs> oh. 
that one over there with the catapult is apparently a game called Pain. Oh, yes. It literally says in the background it has the logo there. It's because nobody would know what it was otherwise. Oh, but I loved Pain. It's a game where you just take a catapult and throw people into walls and you get points and that's it. That's the whole game. Uh, the Hellgast represented Killzone with PS Move uh, controllers, I believe, for guns. With the zappers. Uh, we got Resistance for a Man over it. Yeah, that's what that one is. I like how they put them together because honestly I can't tell those two games apart. <laughs> well, I mean, they're kind of like dueling FPS entries, if you think about it. <laughs> Speaking of dueling, the DualShock 2 controller copes well under pressure. That is a reference to the fact that the buttons of the PS2 controller are pressure sensitive, so there would be some games where it differentiates a hard press versus a soft press of the face buttons. Mm -hmm. One of those games being uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, because I got stuck because I didn't know that if you wanted to fire the fire extinguisher in that game, you didn't have to just press the face button, you had to mash that button as hard as you can to actually fire it. And so I... I didn't know that the buttons were pressure sensitive. Such is life. We live and we learn. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So I suppose as as we just finish off the level, um, so with Final Fantasy VII remake, just to finish off the point, because you know I can ramble and it happens. Um, so I was really excited to get to experience the game for the first time, and it was as fun for me as a new player as I'm sure it was for veterans of the game because it allowed surprises no matter whether you'd played the game millions of times before or you'd never played it and that's just really freaking cool. Oh, speaking of cool, my fingers are literally vibrating because of these jet thrusters. I know. Even though I don't like the platforming parts of this level, this is probably my favourite of the gimmick uh, controls because it feels just really good. You can either uh, press one of the directions and you'll sort of fly in that direction, uh, of course with tilting involved as well. Uh, if you press both of them, you shoot up very fast, but not only is there resistance to when you do it, uh, but it'll actually vibrate and make it feel like you're being thrusted up in a spaceship. Uh, it's real good and honestly, one of the best renditions of, you know, this Moonlander type gameplay I've ever felt. Yeah, I, I agree wholeheartedly. Hey, it's Vib Ribbon. Classic. Loop de loop. Everyone loves Vib Ribbon, except for the people who've never played it, because who played Vib Ribbon? <laughs> well, uh, Volt played it for us at the Sony Fault, I believe. I think, honestly, until they re released it on um, PS3, I had no idea people actually played Vib Ribbon. <laughs> like, I've never heard anyone talk about it. Oh, Tata. Alright, what mysteries do we have now? It's the multi-tap! Yep, yep, another way to play with two more people, because who would put four controller slots on a single console? That's just silly. Well, you know, iterating consoles and whatnot. Well, apart from, you know, the fact that, um, this very generation, Nintendo did just that. Oh, how so? Did what? Sorry? I, yeah, I was not paying attention there. What What do you mean? They put four controller ports on a console with the GameCube. Ah, oh, this generation. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the Switch and whatnot. Yeah, I, I thought you meant, like, the Switch PS5, and I'm like, wait, what? How? <laughs> I don't really get it. Are you talking about the fact that the Switch can have, like, 16 controllers at once or something? Well, I mean, there is also that, but no, it was mostly because obviously we are in PS2 era Astro's Playroom, therefore. <laughs> Time travel. It is interesting that, like, nowadays, there is no limit to how many controllers you can attach because it's all wireless. Like, you can attach eight on, like, even back on the PS3, you could attach eight. Oh, good, they're all there. This is a good one. We're good. <laughs> Spider-Man in the background there. Oh, hey, yeah, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Look, there's the spiders, there's the map. There you go. <laughs> well, they're technically spider bots, but that's besides the point. You know, that's that's one way they could get around the obvious I don't think Marvel would sign off on the copyright. If Marvel were to say, hey, you can't have that, and they would say, what, is this a guy on a spider web? It doesn't have to be Spider-Man. What are you talking about? There are spiders and there are man, but there is no Spider-Man. 
Okay. Booyah. Another happy landing. We have a nice little platforming section in, uh, like a space station area, which is, you know what, one thing I'll say, even if, you know, I didn't love the aesthetic of the first part of the world, the space part is real nice. Indeed. Art. That's what this is. Pure art. <laughs> is it, though? Is it really? Look, I love Hank and I love Connor in Detroit. Become human, okay? The rest... Hmm. Oh, that's what that is! Yeah, let me show you. Look. The red one's going crazy. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that. Because I didn't even... Like, when, when you when you said Hank, I'm like, oh, they have the little, the little symbols! Oh, that's so good. Uh, yep. Yeah, we're doing good so far. Doing very good so far. The deep data space. All these areas have little sub-areas with names, which are, you know, usually affectionate uh, for the whatever you're based on here. Then, let me just give you a free bit of advice, guys. Don't move off that platform until it finishes spinning. It will launch you into space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Dante. Oh, this is probably one of my favorites here. Uh, this is DMC2 Dante in particular, I believe. Uh, that it is, because he has the red undercoat. Yes, although I believe that he's, you know, uh, juggling... Is it Jester or Joker from Devil May Cry 3? That's a Jester enemy from Devil May Cry 1. Oh, so that, that's, that's fair enough. Um, but yes, Astro's Playroom featuring Dante from Devil May Cry. <laughs> Put it on the box. There is no box. It's packed in. Oh, well. I dislike these enemies in particular. They always get me. Yeah, they are a little bit of a nightmare, though there is a fun thing that you can do with them for a trophy in GPU Jungle. Cool. Remind me when we get there. I will do my best. Oh, hey. It's a little big planet. Yeah. Now, we'll have to come back for this one, because unfortunately we need a little bit of firepower. Okay, this has been bugging me for the longest time. Does anyone else hear the start of I lost my heart to a starship trooper in this song? Uh, I have no clue what that song is, so I could not tell you. It's... Da -da 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 -da. That might not be the name of the song itself. But, I don't know, I'm just making connections here. This is Wipeout. That is indeed Wipeout. SSD. The lyrical parts of these songs are some of my favorites, though we'll get to the one that's the big lyrical jam in, uh, in a little bit here. I could just listen to it all day, honestly. Oh, there seems to be a little bit of a kerfuffle here. Oh, that's a shame. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, they're gone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Let's hope it was worth it. Ah. The PS2 disc. Blue is the new black. Oh, yes. <laughs> also, n another lovely... IK reference. Yep, and that's just a city. That's not properly ray tracing or whatever. Zero out of ten on Metacritic. This isn't properly ray traced. Oh yeah. First time I did that, I missed all of those, which I'm not a fan of. <laughs> Making great strides here, my lads. You know, that bot there had a hard life. To be born to blow up. He lived to die. Uh, just a bog standard VR reference there, I believe. And now, we get funky with Gatling Gun! One thing you're going to want to do with the Gatling Gun is you are going to want to spin around with it. Oh, I never knew about that! Wild Arms! Wild Arms! Nice! Shout-ass to Maxi Rick and Base Monkey! Oh, Wild Arms so good! 
Don't worry, the god will come back. Yeah, the original eye toy. And actually, if I uh, scrabble about, oh no, I think I might have moved it. I do have this eye toy, and uh, yeah, that keeps your granny entertained as a reference to all the uh, advertisements and whatnot that were going around at the time. And it was the same for the Wii as well, uh, advertised as something that even your granny could play. And um, you know, it wasn't really taken as ageist and patronising at the time, it was more a uh, term of endearment really. Um, although I would say that the Wii was much more successful at targeting the older demographic. I think in no small part because it was a lot easier to play than uh, perhaps the uh, iToy was. Oh my god, have you tried playing the Knights minigame? Fuck me. I was just going to say, I can't see many grannies being like, I sure do want to play the Knights into Dreams minigame in Sega Superstars again. They'd rather just say, put on that tennis thingy one more time, please. It, it fits them more. They don't care about Sega's history. No, no they don't. I would absolutely play an Astro's Playroom Sega or Nintendo edition, though. Oh yeah, oh for sure. I want it so badly, I pray to... God in heaven every night, but he doesn't answer. <laughs> Never mind me, I'm just lighting up all these lights. I don't think you get anything for it, like. Boggery hell. Just a nice little Easter egg thingy. God, this feels good to shoot. It really does. I was also genuinely surprised uh, when I first started that sort of section there at they throw a lot of enemies at you and you can get overwhelmed if you're not paying attention. Um, so yeah, play, pay attention else you may die. I refuse. I will not die. Not in PlayStation 2 land. Uh, this one is a game called Resogun, I believe. Yes. I only know that because Gigaboo's pointed out. <laughs> yeah, all I can say is thank God for other gamers who know some of these um, less well-known titles, because there are a few. Honestly, though, there was one time I was watching just someone post their highlights, and they saw um, the uh, a certain 3D fighting game, and they said, Oh, look, it's Street Fighter, and part of me died on the inside. Kind of reminds me of that one reactor who's like, he sees a Sonic character and he's like, oh, it's Tails! <laughs> it's Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you knew the exact one I was talking about. Yep. Oh, I think about that all the time because of how earnestly he says it's Tails. <laughs> okay, I seem to be missing uh, one here. Where could it be? I actually think, if this is the one I'm thinking of, um, I know there was one weird one at the start of the level, but that might have been the flowers one that you already got. Um, yeah, so you don't want to obviously activate that just yet, and also you are not going to be able to get back, so uh, I'd say just finish the level and we can come back if you really want it. Ha! Ha! How little you know! <laughs> <laughs> or do that, yeah, that is also an option fool that you are, that you trust the chemicals in your brain to tell you they are chemicals. Well, gives me another chance to just have a little looky loo. Yeah, because there was, I think this one was the one that I missed on my first time, is down in this corner. I think what it might be is around the other side of this same platform. Ah. Um, so near Dante, but not quite Dante. Um, I think that if you go just around that circle there, just into the platform. Yep, there it is. Bingo, bango, bongo. Nice. Very nicely done, mate. Yes, there we go. Love me a bit of quick travel and whatnot. Quick travel that is actually quick for once. Alright, we're going into space. <laughs> Space! 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 To the one place Nintendo has not conquered! Space! <laughs> and then they just like turn around and it's like, oh there's two Mario Galaxy games. Uh, so it came out like 20 years before that actually. 
has her eyes rolling in his grave. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's what you get for shit talking, um, Sony. Uh, well. I mean, you thought that the, con the the mic on the controller was just for certain instances? They can always hear you. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. I remember there was an article once, um, and I don't know if it was true, about one of the FIFA games that would use the microphone, and if you swore, you got a red card in the game. Yes! I seem to recall that. I don't know if that was real or if that was like some fake, you know, thing where I read, uh, you know, I ate the onion, quote unquote. But, um, I, if that's the case, like, that's wild. I'm gonna look that up because that's scary. <laughs> Please do. I remember that story as well, so I, I don't think you're wrong in that it is something that somebody has mentioned, but as you said, whether it is um, a real feature that existed, or whether it is just one of those, <laughs> we're going to take the piss out of you ones, hard to tell. Alright, so I have, I have learned that it is not real, um, and it was in fact... Uh, he was screaming at the game, but the reason that he got banned was because he also messaged the other player those things. <laughs> so, that's why. Also, hey, it's the little PS2! Love me, the PS2 slim lads. And that very console is sitting just to my left right now. Along with the PS4 and the PS5. That's another one that I have two of from Garage Sales, which is nice, because then I gave the other one to my sister, so she can now play Persona 4 up in her room while I play Raw Danger in my room. Yeah. I heard that. THD actually gave it gave me it as a birthday present. I've yet to play it because it is region locked. That was a game that um, one of my first games that a, um, a Patreon person sent me to play, and I was like, Okay, sure, I'll play this obscure PS2 game. I was expecting something else, but sure. <laughs> uh, well, emulation exists. I should really give it a shot one of these days. It, it is certainly a disaster report, too. That's exactly what I want, mate. That's, that's exactly what it is. And it has the wonderful thing of, how do we make this game work for America? Let's just recolor every single character's hair blonde. Yeah, that, that sounds about right, unfortunately. Explode for me, you doomed machine! Huh. Ha! Oh, I never even spoke into it, I didn't know about that. What a weedy looking microphone. Yep. Also, had fun with the Sing Style mics. There was a more than a couple sort of uh, mic-based singing games on the PS2. I remember seeing them quite often in, again, garage sales, where I buy almost all my PS2 stuff. Nope, nope, nope. I said nope, but now I have to cope. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you did very well with the bombs just below you, so uh, <laughs> it's only fair that you struggle with the bit after it, because that bit just below where you got the uh, puzzle piece and the uh, artefact, I had an absolute nightmare trying to sort of manoeuvre through. I don't know why, I don't know what was happening, but um, still. Playing this live was not a good idea. You're gonna wait till they turn off and then blast on up as fast as possible. Oh, I didn't even notice they turn off. That's my B. They go off and on. You can just kind of hover below them, and then once they turn, you can shoot on up. There you go. If you press really hard on both of the uh, of the uh, triggers there, you will go even faster, too. Why are they playing in the background? I cannot tell, thanks to Discord's uh, video feed. <laughs> Very interesting. I want to say it looks vaguely Street Fighter-ish, but, um, God knows. Omega Booster, what is that? I don't know, but we have an actual boss fight. Yeah, one of a couple. Come to daddy. Aha! First time, baby. Bravo. That was not meant to sound sarcastic in the slightest. <laughs> it's fine, Rich, don't worry. Omega Boost was a PS1 game. 
that I've never heard of. That's where it comes from. Oh, I love the feel of walking along this thing. Yeah. Bot of war. Boy. Or should I say bot? Hey. Oh. I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Another really good startup. And then we get to like PS3 and it's like, that's fine, I guess. PS3, I have a bit of nostalgia for being my first PlayStation system, but yeah, not as much, definitely. Welcome to the third place. Nice. Now, I don't think I own this one in particular. I own the Slim, but I remember playing GTA San Andreas a lot on my mate's one. We started with the PS2 fans um, and then got the Slim um, because, you know, this is what happens when you've got a family that all wants to play on the PlayStation. It's just the way it goes, mate. It's just the way it goes. Fell him up. Whole new era. You know what that makes me want to do? Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's open this shit up. Oh. Now, I believe you definitely want to attack the PlayStation 2 if you haven't already. I've got to, don't you worry. No, get out! There was four of them having a wonderful multiplayer-centric time! <laughs> Oh, it had a dial-up sound. Interesting. I bet you there's so many kids who play this and hear that dial-up sound and go, I don't know what that is, and it's like, oh, you sweet summer child. That's uh, doing the uh, the noise. I mean, I think you've got to... Oh, well, there's that. I think you also want to attack the big PS2. Alright. <laughs> Thankfully, they put a ladder here because it's a freaking monolith. That ladder will come in handy. He's just having a fun time. Yes. You see, I'm, I'm trying to remember all the trophies to give you some nice, quick and easy trophies, but some of them clearly aren't quite in my memory as I thought they were. But there's definitely one associated with climbing up that PS2. We just need some other artifacts in here before that will work. PSP GPS receiver? Can you imagine just being, like, lost in the city, and you're like, Oh, I don't know where I am. Let me whip out my PSP. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no one of those. No one of those. So you might notice there's some cans in there. Um, the can is basically the booby prize when you get it. Uh, you get to crush a can, which feels real cool. Makes you feel like a frat boy. But, uh, sadly, it is not a prize that actually gives you anything. Yeah. The rubber duckies are the PS3 uh, tech demo, I believe. Mm-hmm. And in fact, as of uh, even recently, um, when they were testing uh, Demon Souls, the PS5 remake, uh, one of the developers says to test the game's strain, you know, how much you can have going on, they literally flooded the world with as many rubber duckies as they could fit in there. And uh, they said, we scrubbed deeply to make sure there was no rubber duckies left in the game. But everyone's asking now, please release the rubber ducky cut of Demon Souls. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Also, Tom, before we leave here... Uh-huh. Go to the Sony Interactive logo um, that should just be the, on the opposite end of the room to where you are. Yeah, just over, just there, you can just see it there. And uh, give it a whack for me. Yeah, that didn't seem like something weird about it. <laughs> yeah, you faced out. Da 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 da. Okay, I might not do it yet then. Ah, there we oh, go. Oh no, there it is. Interesting. The original logo. Uh-huh. Brilliant stuff. Ah, uh, they're just hanging out with the rubber duckies and whatnot. Good stuff. I mean, why would you not want to hang out with the rubber duckies? And stuff. Probably because we are in a console and water and console is bad. 
Uh, yeah. Last time I checked, and you know me, not very good at science. So. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and add another symbol. This will be important, I swear. Ignore the menacing roar. It doesn't mean anything. I promise you, there is nothing behind the curtain here. 